Welcome back. This week I went down to English Bay in Vancouver to do some sketching. I was down there rather early, around 9am, because it promised to be a scorching day and I knew that the beach would soon fill up with people enjoying the good weather. With coffee and a sandwich, I sat on one of the benches on the promenade. The seagulls were cawing and the kids were playing and screaming in the surf. There were six to eight large vessels lining up to enter the harbour to the right and the ship seemed to be just hanging on the distant horizon. I particularly wanted to get the background mountains and they had very interesting shades of greys and purples through the haze. I took my A6 field sketchbook with me and a 2H pencil. Uh, these, these are just the small ones I love to take with me. I had my phone as well to take photos and the video. I started to sketch out with my horizon line and then the edge of the surf. The sea here is very uh, calm at English Bay in Vancouver and the waves just lap at your ankles. In fact, I've never seen a storm on this coast at all, but maybe that's just because I haven't been down here when it's raining. So I worked in three sections. I divided the page into three horizontal bands with the sky, the sea and the sand. And I just wanted to make sure to pick up the three distant mountains in the background. On the far right, there was a small curve of a cove which was slightly raised with boulders and had a few fir trees at the edge of the drawing. There was a huge log of a redwood tree that the city uh, plonks on the beach for people to sit on and there happened to be one right in front of me, so I just drew it in. There were plenty of people on the beach, but I didn't add them into my sketch. So for the sky, I did attempt to show the clouds in the sky. It was very difficult with just my pencil and clouds are really subjects that I find challenging to draw. The sea was mainly low flappy waves and I added plenty of little horizontal lines going across the page indicating the motion of the sea. For the beach sand, I simply drew many dots, I think it's called pointillism, to show just the texture of the sand. Although it was very smooth sand, it still had the grainy texture and that's why I wanted to express it in the, in the dots. When I got home, I made a cup of tea and took a bit of a rest. And then I got out my perpetual nature journal because this is where I wanted to add this drawing. To me, nature is all about the outdoors of the earth and where we live. It's the environment we live in and our relationship with it. I don't believe that nature journaling is required to zoom in on one little ladybug or a leaf. It can certainly be the landscape around us as well. So with my 2H pencil, I just sketched out in the bottom right hand of my August page in my Perpetual Nature Journal. I sketched out the main structures for this drawing and I then went over it with a 0.5mm black pen just to give the shapes some form. When I was happy with the ink, I just uh, erased the pencil marks because they needed to go before I put the ink on. Because once you put the ink on, you can't remove the pencil marks. As I'm continuing to work with my Winsor Newton drawing inks as my current favourite medium, I wanted to once more practice working with them. So I used my inks to colour in the sea, the trees, the mountains and the beach. And I was very aware of watering these inks down. Inks are unforgiving and once you've laid them on the page, you really can't move the colour at all, not like watercolour. Um, so inks are more challenging, I think. I used a very small brush, I think it was a number four, and I slowly added the impression of the landscape that I was drawing. Next, I went over it again, um, once it was dry, I went over it again with my black pen, and I also had a gray pen, which was something new, and I just used this to add some textures to the log, uh, to the sand, and to the water, and to the trees in the distance. So really, I've got the black, which is more foreground, and hopefully the gray was more subdued as well. I would like to be a better artist and I know that if I keep practicing I probably will be better but the art I can do today is the best I can do so I would love to be able to do a pond of water lilies like Monet just for the hint of the image in the painting and I do admire his work I'm also a huge fan of Van Gogh's work with all his many brush strokes so at the moment I'm still learning art as a hobby artist I am getting better with my pen work and I'm getting a little better with my coloured ink work, although that still is going to require a lot of effort. This is probably the fifth painting I've done with coloured inks, so I'm still learning this medium so much. The third thing I'm really starting to enjoy is working with my perpetual nature journal, where it becomes an ongoing journal. 
So a perpetual nature journal is divided into 12 months and each month I can do a drawing for that month within the page and date for the year. And then next year in August, I can come back and do another drawing to add to the August page. And I do believe there is further potential for other types of perpetual journals and I'm looking into that as well. I do enjoy doing these artworks. I find it greatly meditative and relaxing. And I believe in creating simple art brings mental clarity and this is what I'm enjoying as well. I've also started working on the Vancouver art map and this is where when I go out on location and do some sketch I write I put the position on the map so I can see where I was drawing. So I put the English Bay which is quite a big bay on on the side of Vancouver and I've put it there. I created this art map by copying the map from Google and I just drew the outline of the coast on a large piece of paper. Um, I plan to frame my Vancouver art map and hang it in my studio one day when it's completed. Um, I can see that the position is, I seem to be drawing in the same position, although the map is slightly larger. But uh, clearly I need to venture further afield in my sketching life soon. I really enjoyed doing this artwork and I thank you for sharing part of your day with me today. If you enjoyed my video, please do give it a like. I'm Alison Hazel. I will see you next time.